Welcome back. This is called the warm up. Dave Wyman is in for the go to guy here this afternoon as we get prepared for the Super Bowl. Notice the Wyman has a much smaller chair. We gave him the kid's chair today. It's like a little kid. You need a phone book? No. Well, right, you're going to be all right? Let me get a different chair. Here. Yeah, get a different chair. Ah, this is fun. Right? Okay. We're only it's gonna like be on story here time. I feel like a little kid's going to be here for like a minute. I wish I had a story <laughs> to tell you. Yeah. I wish I had a story to tell you. Uh, we're finally here. We're finally right here on the uh, the doorstep of the Super Bowl. I can't wait. It's going to be terrific. We've got two outstanding quarterbacks going at it, two terrific defenses. You think this will be a high-scoring game? No, I don't think so. Where, where do you think it will be played? Well, what, what, I mean, you're gonna probably, 20 is going to be high for these two defenses. I mean, really? Look, at you got a great matchup because you got the two best-scoring defenses. Yeah. What, uh, during the season, I think Pittsburgh allowed 14 and a half points. And then uh, Green Bay mm -hmm. only 15. So you got the two best defense. You got the two players of the year on defense that finished one and two, Polamalu and, and Matthews. So and I think that that matchup. I don't think there's going to be a lot of scoring, but I think it's going to be one of those deals where somebody has to grind one out in the end. I think Pittsburgh's best equipped to do that. Pittsburgh and Ben Roethlisberger. He seems yeah. to be the guy. He does it. He, he's best when the game is ugly. When yeah. he's got to scramble, do some things. Yeah. Six five, two forty. He takes a hit. He'll have that defense salivating because he will take hits, won't he? Yeah, well, and the other thing, too, is uh, he has the ability to turn his brain off, uh, off the field, too, by the way. But, uh, you know, on the field, man, I mean, sometimes you see him taking these shots downfield. You hear at the end of the, the game against the Ravens, the, the long pass he throws, it was third and 19, and he goes, ah, I figured, what the hell. Just let it fly, <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah, so, I mean, uh, the guy will do whatever it takes, and he just has an ability to win. I know you're a huge basketball fan. We've got Washington on the road after losing to Washington State. So Washington's down there. They're playing Oregon State. We'll get into that a little bit this afternoon. You still like Washington? Oh, you think? yeah. How much do you like them, though? Well, I mean, I, I think Romar is going to be able to bring this team, uh, you know, so they start to build about this point going towards the tournament, you know. And yeah. It's the teams that get hot. It's just like the NFL playoffs. The teams that get hot going into the tournament usually do really well. And I think he's such a great leader. they got a ton of talent. So, you know, I think when uh, the games start to really matter, that's when they're going to start to step up. Ooh, okay, you heard it. When the games... I don't like that attitude when the games start to matter because tonight it should all matter. Tonight yeah. it yeah. matters. They've got Oregon State and Oregon State's won a couple of big games. But they're kids, Kevin. They're just kids. They're just kids, you know. So they, they don't. They're on a they're full ride scholarship. Why, man? Come on, suck it up. They're paid athletes. Well, I know it's tough. It's tough, it's tough being down there in Corvallis to focus because there's so much to do down there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> this is the Why, man? KC warm up. Join us three o'clock.